Good morning, Pisces. How are you? <clears throat> oh my God, I was supposed to be doing your reading. But then I started researching some other stuff. And I've been since been up since four o'clock. And I got to research and something else, and now it's pretty late. I do apologize, but when I get into researching, boy goes, I go all in. Okay, because I like to get the facts. But anyway, <clears throat> like I said, you have your own choice of whether or not you want your kids and you to get these shots, okay? Your own choice. Make your choice wisely. Stop listening to all what these people are telling y'all <clears throat> on TV. They want to mix, they're using us like guinea pigs. Now they want to cross over to different uh, uh, shots, mix them and all that shit. That, what that's, the word mixing sounds like they're using your ass as a guinea pig. Mixing? They ain't getting nothing else from my ass. All right, Pisces. Um, I will be putting up when the class will be starting, okay? Um, hopefully, it'll start the weekend, so... You can get, and I will make it around, um, probably around six, something like that, where, you know, you can have your dinner cook and all that, and get ready to watch Miss Lisa. What's up, Pisces Studios? Well, I love saying Pisces Studio. That shit is like ringing a bell, right? But anyway, that's who I am. That's me. That's who I represent. Without me, it ain't no Pisces Studio. So it's all about me, right? I am a Pisces. 100% Pisces, all right? Um, <clears throat> thank you for all those who uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that button. You know what it means. It means popping shit off for me and you. Um, leave comments if you like. Share the videos if you like. You know what I mean? You know how they say um, Telemundo in Spanish or your favorite um, show? This is your motherfucking favorite YouTube, motherfucker. What? Um, shout out to all the other YouTubers. I ain't hating on no damn body. Um, thank you for all those who give private readings and donate to my channel. And thank you, Amelia, for those who go in my store and get your oils, okay? I don't show you the front of my oils because, you know, that's what I do. But everything in front of my oils, believe me, is the block fucking energy that is not for me. And that's what I do. I block anything. I don't give a fuck what it is. That it's not good for me, it's got to go. All right, so let's get popping with this reading, Pisces. You know, let's get going. Now, uh, <clears throat> a lot of your readers have been talking about past people uh, coming back. <clears throat> um, well, I'm going to tell you about that. Now, I don't know what level you on with the past and all that shit. Um... But, um, and then people say, I want the new, but when you ask, okay, with the past, I feel like, what level you on with the past, who this person was in your life with the past, and sometimes it's you with the drama and not them with the drama, right? So, because you've been all in your situations, you still carry luggage and luggage and luggage and luggage and don't realize it's you, and I'm going to say this for an example. Fuck the relationship with motherfuckers. Let's get down with the relationship that you got within your kids, okay? Let me tell you something right now. And that was some of everything else that I'm saying about the past relationship with, with people and what you're looking for in the new, okay? This this going to balance your shit right the fuck off because, you know, I keep shit real, all right? Now, check this shit out. If you got kids in your house, all right, and they little teenagers or whatever age they are, right, and I don't give a fuck if they grown now. I'm going to talk on straight the fuck up shit. Right? Check this out. And you've been through shit in your life. Right? And I'm sure your kids have seen it because they there with you. Right? Check this shit out. And then they start acting rebelling in school, doing shit you don't like, wearing shit you don't like, getting smart with you, testing your ass. Right? Running away from home. Doing all kinds of fucking shit, having sex, all this crazy shit, right? 
So now you get mad. I love my child. I kiss my child. I hug my child. I try to tell my child how beautiful they are and all this. But check that shit out. Where that shit started from? Where? It started from you. All right? The way you speak. All right? What they hear. What they see. That's who they become. Sometimes we scream, all right, or we don't like something about what they do, then we get all crazy, right? Real crazy. So we get the cops involved, we get the courts involved. Um, you know, you get everybody involved because you're looking for the help. You get social workers involved, you get courts involved, you're looking for help. It's like you are desperate to get help. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Your kids are a product of who you are. Okay? And I'm going to keep that shit real. All right? The way you speak. And sometimes we go crazy. And we start saying this and that, that and that, boo, 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 boo. We don't realize that we are creating what we see in front of us. And let me tell you something, honey. And I'm never saying nobody's a bad mother. I never, I'm not telling you you're a bad mother. I'm telling you the person, all right, who you became from your past experience. And it may not have nothing to do with a motherfucker or bitches. It got to do from your own roots, where you come from, your own parents, what you seen, what you heard. Okay? That's where that shit come from. So, then you raise your kids and you think you're doing the right thing and giving them everything you know, they need and want and more. But it's the way. It's the same thing as a relationship. You come into a relationship. You allow the shit to happen it's going to happen. All right? You have kids from these people that are abusive to you, all right, that are mean, hit you, um, cheat on you, all that shit, and you continue to stay with that shit, right? Okay, then you start to cheat it because they already cheated, so now you start to cheat it. So your kids look at you because you are their role model more than their fathers, and that's some real shit, right? So you look at your kids and you say, well, damn, they act just like their father. What? So you are already sending to the universe whatever you think of your kids. Do you understand? And that's the same shit as a relationship. If shit ain't right, you got to nip it on the ass from the door. You don't let somebody curse your ass out and think that's cool. Right? You don't let somebody put their hands on you and you think that's cool. And you cover for their asses. Because you are embarrassed. And more embarrassed than anything to tell the truth. Right? But everything you create, and I'm talking about as far as your childhood, running from your mother, get married at a young age, Get married, period, just to get out of one situation to get into another abusive relationship. And then you carry that shit to your kids. Okay? And that's some real shit. You can't take shit back. And I'm telling you, I'm the first to tell you, I've been through hell. From a child, from five years old, to being my son's mother, to him watching me being very abusive, Going to jail, doing all this shit. All right? And so now, you know, I see the same pattern with my son. He don't know how to express himself. He don't know how to love. So his wife feel like he ain't loving me. He don't care for me. He's running here and doing the same shit. Right? And it's a pattern that you go through. You don't have to put your hands on your kids for to be abusive to them. 
You don't have to say a fucking word to be abusive to them. It's your actions. It's what you do. You can give a child everything in the world. Everything in the world. But it's the way you are as a person. That child is born with you. Is raised with you. It came out of you. Is in your essence. Okay? Your orals. Okay? Your energy. I'm going to say something to you. Right? My best friend is my son. I could tell my son any fucking thing. Right? But I have also been very negative in his life. Have I been a role model for him to look at me? No. Have the apple fall from the tree? Yes. Am I proud of myself? No. But I'm not mad at him because he's a product of who I am. And I start realizing that each and every day. So when he say, Mom, you need to calm down. You know, I'm like, don't tell me to calm. Boy, you better stop playing for I'll fuck your, you know, like that kind of shit. Or, you know, saying, I don't give a fuck. You, you do this and you like this and you like them more than me. How can I get mad at him for loving his grandmother or his aunt more than he loves me? How? When that's the love. The right love they gave him. You understand? So we got to understand who we are and what comes out of our mouths in our home and what kids see. All right? You can't be letting somebody whip your ass. I don't give a fuck if it's a father. Whip your ass. Demolish your ass. The next thing you do, you got the door closed having sex with this motherfucker. You got your kids all fucked up. And then you wonder why they fucked up. Remember I said that. Okay? Lesson of the day. It don't fucking matter. It don't matter where you, this shit started. Your mother. You know, your father. Uh, um, then you pick up where they left off. In your own life. Right? And then you run from them to come into a trap. And then you leave that trap to go into the next trap. And that's the way you are. Until you realize. And I mean realize. Damn, that shit's crazy. And I say this because. You know, my mom left my dad when I was. Four years old. And. My stepdad, which I'd say that's my father because he raised me from that time on. I never forget, like he used to say, my mother was a sore. And how he used to say he never felt <clears throat> like she loved him. And my mother was a piece of work. But my mom married him after I was grown and adult. And I started thinking today when I was praying outside today and I looked up and the moon wasn't out. But I started thinking, now I know exactly how my mother felt. Because he always felt like my mother didn't love him. But my mother felt like he did the best for her and us. Seven kids that wasn't his. So my mother felt like he, she owed him. Owed him. For helping her out with us. Right? So she had to sit there and put up with somebody she wasn't in love with. Right? And she married this man. It was always reasons. And she would say the reasons. Because she was a bold bitch. But now I understand that she was my mother. And everything, I swear to God. And I don't like to swear to God. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I put my hand up. Okay? Everything my mother was. The way she thought. The way she was reminds me of me. I was a product of her. 
in her, my stepfather, who I don't like saying stepfather, I'm going to say my father. He, before he died, he told me that. He said, your mother, ne I felt like your mother never loved me. She did what she wanted to do, and she didn't care. And she hurted me. Okay, it's almost like it was two people tolerating each other for their own reasons. All right? But what's crazy was my mother passed away before my father. And they were married. And they are in the same place. They ashes. And it's incredible how you can literally adapt yourself to something that you don't want because of all the wrong reasons. And I mean all the wrong reasons. You could be with a person for many crazy reasons, for money, security, all that shit, okay? For somebody raising, helping you raise your kids that ain't theirs, right? All kinds of shit. You need to really look at situations. And then look at your kids. And look at if they marry, what they going through. Do you understand? And that's some real shit. Let's get down to reading. I'm sorry it's 16 minutes in this reading, but I, I have to say what I have to say. And I always tell y'all about me first. Because I never put no fucking body down. But I'm fucking telling you about me. Because I'm not afraid to tell you about me. You understand? And I don't give a flying fuck. If you live with your mother. If your mother gave you away. If you live in foster care. If you was a product of um drug addicts. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, your roots is your root, and you can't change that. And then you create your roots, and you cannot change that because you already started shit. Get your fucking facts of your own life and search that shit. Because I'm telling you, when I was outside, Today, this morning, four in the morning. And I wasn't even thinking about my mother and my father. I'm not, I wasn't even thinking. I was telling God about a situation that I that I want to get out of and get clarity about it. Help me, God, get through this, right? And I swear to you, the first thing that popped up on my mind was my mother and my father. And what my mother told me just before she passed away. And my father told me his story just before he passed away. How he felt about my mother. And my mother told me how she felt about him. And why she felt the need to pay him back for everything he did for her. And I'll be damned if I would ever be with somebody that married somebody I don't fucking love. And I don't give a fuck how good they were to me. I don't give a fuck. Because you know what? That's when the cheating start. You don't want to be with that person. So you go see somebody else because you don't want to be with him. Okay? And it just become a big mess. And I'm saying this to somebody and I don't know. But I know I'm telling you all you Pisces this shit. And I know I'm speaking to all you Pisces. I'm not saying... Fit it where it belongs. I'm talking to you. About you. Okay? In cross watches, if you ain't a Pisces, then I'm talking to you. Because this is for real shit. This ain't no Maple Leaf shit. This is some real shit. Do you understand how real this shit is? I'm reading your fucking ass. And my cards are sitting right here. And I'm reading you. Because you create your product. And you know what? Sometimes we must be grateful because our kids are who they are. Even though 
that mirror of who you are, your kids see it. All right? And I'm saying this about my own son. You know? I know how he is. But he has been through a lot because of me. And he's also the best person he can be to his wife and his son. And maybe she don't think so because she feels like she's not love, but in the material world, she's put together. You understand? So, I try to teach my grandson right here, right, about whatever he feels that ain't right about his father and him. And he's small. And he always told me this. You know what I mean? Mom, I wish that wasn't my dad. Or mom, I don't love him. It hurt me. But my son is a product of who I am. Okay? I can't make my grandson love my son. I can't. Right? But I can talk to him and let him know who I am. And that is my son. Right? And as he get older, and he starts understanding. Then I can really tell him everything about me. The good, the ugly, the evil, everything. So that he will get a better understanding of his father. Right? And how he feels. And I pray to God that he will be a better person for his wife and his kids, that he do not take that, how he feels, into his relationship. And I'm telling you, it will happen because he is the product of my son. And my son is the product of me. And I am the product of my mother. And my mother is the product of her mother. And this shit goes all the way back. And I ain't sugarcoat a motherfucking thing here. I'm telling you what it is. Do you understand? Think about where you at, honey. Because this shit is real. And do you understand that we are the products of the new development in our kids. And they will be the products of their kids. Do you fucking understand it? You think about it. You cannot finger point at what somebody did to you because you are the product of what you allow and what you've been through. And now you created the same product that you are. It's the same fucking product that you're going to see your kids. In every fucking one of them, you're going to see that shit. Right? And then you say, they act just like they father know they act just like fucking you. Alright? Abuse to who? To you. Do you understand? Alright. Let's get down with this reading. And let me tell you something. If I offended you, and you don't like what you heard, I apologize to you, right, for the way I'm putting it out there to you. But one thing I know in my heart, deep in my heart, did every fucking thing I said is the fucking truth. Do you understand? And I mean it. And if you feel like you want to go, you can go.
But the truth is the truth. And say what the fuck you want. Prada is in your face. Okay? It's in your face. I don't care. Oh, Miss Lisa, I, I'm good to my kids. Miss Lisa, I love my kids. All right, well, then that's why your kids, when they get the fuck out, they don't want to come back. Them motherfuckers, whether what, work their ass off not to ever come back to your fucking house. Okay? Yeah. Or they'd be the kind that, well, shit, uh, I'll live with you and fucking drive you fucking crazy because that's what the fuck you did to them. Okay? It is what it is, boo-boo. It is what it is. All right? It is what it is. And that can be with anything. You can have a child, and I'm literally telling you, and this is the way, just listen to me. You can have a child that gets an animal, a dog, a cat, whatever. They get tired of that cat, they give it to you. It could, listen to how they move. Listen to how they do shit. Girl, Pisces, y'all need to see in every level the way your child moves. Okay? And the things they do. And it could be any fucking thing. It could be involving an animal. It could be the way they, they act towards you. The way they are. How can you have and I'm going to say something. Well, my son gave me an animal because his wife didn't like the dog. So I kept the damn dog. It was crazy. I was incarcerated in my house for 11 years because that motherfucker was biting everybody. Okay? So my son gave me this dog. Right? And he didn't want to give me the dog. He, he wanted it. But because his wife, for all these years, since my son was 13 years old, he'd been with this same girl, same woman. 38 years, right? Check this shit out. He finally stepped up to her and say, I'm going to get a dog and that's it. And that's all. If you don't like it, you can go because I'm going to get my motherfucking dog. Right? So, thank God he broke that barrel and say, look, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. If you so allergic to it, then guess what you are? Because I choose to be happy. Thank God he choose to be fucking happy. And if it took a dog, for her to understand that my son was not no longer going to sit there and not be happy for what he really loves. She even says, I think he loves his dog more than me. And so do I. And if that's what makes him fucking happy, makes this world go round, well, oh well. It's a barrier that you must fucking stand up to and break. And I don't give a fuck what barrier it is. It is what it is. Okay? And I don't even know, I don't even know if I um want to sit here and, and do a tarot card reading because where I'm at right now, my energy is not even into no cards. My energy is telling you what the fuck it is. All right? And where you are in your life and what the products you have created out of your womb and how you need to see each and every one of your kids for who they are and just look at their pattern. Look at how they are because this is you. Well, she's the one to do this. Okay, I got a black sheep. Now, you know you got a motherfucking black sheep, right? And that's the one that will run your ass crazy. Do you understand the product of who you are? You can have a grown-ass fucking grown-ass man as a child who talks to you like shit, treats you like shit, don't give a fuck about you like shit, right? but still want to play with you whenever they fucking want. And then you say something to them, it's like they don't give a fuck. They would not care. They come in and out of your life. They don't care if they don't speak to you for a time. And you know why? Because 
Look at that. They come in and out of your life. That reminds me of somebody ghosting you, right? Coming back home when they want. Showing up like I did my mother. Right? It's the way kids are. You can't control a motherfucker. Right? So you got one child you feel bad about. You got a black uh, sheep of the family. Then you got one that you fucking baby. And this is what you do. Because, oh, I feel sorry for that one because that one was treated wrong. And I need to be on this one's side. And I need to do this for this one, help this one. Because this one is black sheep. And drunk. I need to find her help. Something wrong with her. Oh, I, oh this one. Um, but Okay, this one is, uh, you know, and so it's like you all over the fucking place. I don't give a fuck if your kids are out of the fucking house. You are all over the place with your family, your kids. Some, some mothers don't even fuck with their kids because they cannot deal with how they are, right? Now, they might be in a whole different level than you ever was with them, but they still the product, all right? where you was once upon a time. You don't have to blame yourself for where your kids are at or how they behave. Only thing I'm telling you is what you allowed, okay, escaping from one thing to the next from your mother, father's house or mother's because most of us are single parent to, um, a man marrying, moving, getting pregnant, whatever it is, running away, whatever the fuck it was. That's what you went for. That's what you wanted. You paid a price. You got fucked up along your way. You stayed for your own reasons. All right? Control control and now you started having kids by these fucking crazy ass people demons shadows and then what the fuck you think you got products all kinds of products crazy ones middle ones sorry ones all right let me tell you something the, spot, the smartest people in the world are sitting behind bars for life. Serial killers. And you sit there and you talk, why you do that? And the shit that they tell interviewers in their books, you be fucking saying the product is where they came from. Smart people behind bars doing life. Okay? They don't look like monsters, but they are. Okay? Child molesters, serial killers, trafficking kids, women. That lifestyle is what we create in our lives because we are a product of circumstances and then we run from that to go into the devil workshop and we create we get pregnant and then we create everything that's going on you think they don't make them movie like rosemary and all that shit having a baby and all this crazy honey them movies um you may think they movies but honey everything you see in the movies it happens I don't give a fuck if you seeing a flying car, if, if you're going to see it come true. Everything happens. All right? But we try to make the best of it, but not realizing everything we've done. And my son is grown. He's a grown man. But, you know, every day I learn something new. You know, I get mad at him or 
when he say something I don't like, you know, or I just say fuck it. When he called me, he called me. It don't matter, you know. But yeah, it do matter, and I need to get it fixed. I need to fix it. That's my only child. I need to really fix it. I need to tell him everything about me. And I don't have to tell him a lot about me because he is my son. He lived in my house. He knew how I moved. He knew the things I did. He know everything about me. He can write my book. And that's some real shit. Pisces. I'm only telling you this because if you have kids and even if they're little babies, teenagers or out of your house, marry and all, Sometimes it's hard. And the kids are tremendously, even as grown, they don't talk to you. You know, you try everything in your power, but it, you just can't connect. Just remember. You may think they got issues, personalities, and, you know, no, uh uh. It's their. It's a product. And, you know, they've seen it between you and a the person, their father. And then maybe you left their father and had kids by somebody else. You know, it, it's so crazy how life is. You can have the best mother. You can be the best mother in the world. But the father is crazy. So, you know what I mean? Or sometimes... Both of y'all are crazy, so the, the, the kids are really off balance. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you see, especially when you got little kids, little kids, and you start, and for those who are young and having babies, everything I'm telling you, you need to switch. Switch gears. And I mean switch it now while they're little. Right? For real. Switch gears. And if you are the kind that you got kids that are out of control, you need to really, 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 really. Because you, maybe you not acknowledge everything that if you are with their father now or you're in a situation where y'all getting a divorce and all that. And just, just think about what that child has seen all this time. Right? And then you're going to know. You're going to really know why that child acts the way they do. I don't give a fuck. You can buy that child anything in the world. You can fucking sit there and then your own fucking sick head say, I don't play a part on this child acting crazy. Oh, yes, the fuck you did. Y'all did. All right? Because if you get abused by a person, then you abuse your kids and the way you talk to them, the way you are, crazy, how you act. Right? There's a reason. Nobody in the world got perfect kids. Nobody in the world has perfect kids. And if you really want to look at something, you know, we just had Donald Trump as a president, right? And all kinds of crazy shit was going on, right? And, you know, you look at his life, where he comes from, his father, his brothers, and then you know why? He acts the way he do. He was very controlled. His father controlled him. It was like he was the black sheep. And they come for money. Right? And look how he is. Just look how he conducts himself. As a president. And I'm not putting him. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to put him down. I'm going to tell you the truth. Just, and I'm not saying, just, I'm saying look the way he was as a president. Straight forward. He didn't give a fuck how he talked to you. You ain't never seen a president did this motherfucker broke every fucking 
level in every fucking law it was in the White House. Right? He didn't give a fuck who liked and who didn't like. This motherfucker was a military within himself. And even after the president shit that he left the White House, he still got control. You still got people having stands with his shirts and all this crazy shit. Because he's a product of where he come from. And it's not like he's an evil person. It's just that that's the way the fuck he is. And that's the way he conducts himself. And that's some real shit. And I tell y'all all the time, yes, I read tarot. Yes, I do this. But this ain't me. This ain't my focus here, honey. I was born the way I am. I'm a very spiritual person. I don't need no tarot card to read your fucking ass. I do readings all the time. And, and, and when I do readings, people be up there. But this, nah, let's, let's get down to the real fucking deal. Because you ask for a reading and you're going to get a fucking reading. Whether you like the shit that's coming out or you don't. Because I don't sugarcoat a motherfucking thing for nobody. So maybe people look at me like, damn, this bitch, and she acts like a Donald Trump. Or she act like this. No, I don't act like a motherfucking Donald Trump. I'm real to my shit and I ain't got no reason to fucking lie. I ain't sugarcoating shit. I fucking tell you everything about me. I fucking tell you. I am a piece of fucking work. Do you understand? It ain't no in between with me. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. I won't sit down and eat at a table with you. I won't do shit with your ass. You, I'm the person that if you cross me, honey, you will see the devil come out of me. And I mean that shit. And that's the way I am. And the reason why I am speaking to you the way I am is because you need to look in a fucking mirror and look at everything about you when you look at your kids. And if you are young and you watch me and you got little kids, you need to reprogram your motherfucking ass, okay? And if you are like me, the, the kids are grown and out and married and all, I look at my son and I'm telling you at the situation with him and his wife and my grandson, and that's a product of who the fuck I am. And I'm not sitting here make I am not proud of shit. Not a damn thing. And I know that he loves my grandson. I know that. But I know how my grandson feels about him. And I am the product of my son. Maybe he felt like I never loved him. Maybe he felt like I showered him with materialistic things. And I apologize if he feel that way. But I'm a sore. I'm a Pisces. You know, I wish I can redo things again, but I can't. But I can fix it. And that I can do. It's just certain things you can't get me to do. If I don't fuck with people that are in his family, Okay, on both sides of them, his wife and him. You ain't gonna get me to eat with these motherfuckers. I won't give a fuck if it's my grandson's birthday, if it's my son. I, I can't fuck with people. I can't be fake. And that's the problem. I can't do it. And if I got to be honored for being the realest bitch, then I fucking tap myself on the back because I can't take too much abuse. And I can't be fake and let somebody keep 
fucking demolishing me. All right? When I ain't doing shit to these bitches or motherfuckers, then, then you see the devil come out of me. All right? And then when I say what the fuck I say, then I'm in the wrong. But I'm not in the wrong. I don't want to fuck with somebody that want to keep stabbing me, slapping me. Okay? What the Bible say? If somebody um do something wrong to you, just turn your cheek. And fucking these days, time of day, you better not fucking turn your damn sheep cheek. Listen to me. The Bible speaks of history many years ago. And I'm fucking talking to you right the fuck now. You be a damn fool if you're going to continue to let somebody beat your ass and you ain't making no fucking move. You go to church and they say, well, let your enemy just keep fucking your ass up. And, you know, God's going to take care of it. Well, I live this motherfucking world right here, honey. And I believe in God. But I am in control. Okay? On how somebody's going to treat me. And I'm not going to let them create more of a monster than I fucking already am. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Turn the other cheek. Come my motherfucking way. Pop some crazy ass shit. I'm going to turn the other cheek because I'm going to fuck your ass up. I'm going to demolish your ass just by my words. And I'm going to move the fuck on. We ain't going to sit here and go through this shit because I'm done with you. And do you understand? You know, that's why when, and I'm not Muslim, that's why when Farrakhan came up here and started talking and turning the Bible, they own, I'm not going to say their Bible because it's something totally different, right? And he started correcting things about the Bible. And you seen people following him, right? Why? Because it's today. It's the way you live your life today. And it's some real shit. That's the way life is. You mean to tell me that every person in the world is living by the Bible or the Quran? You fucking tell me that I'm lying to you and I'm going to say you a motherfucking liar because ain't no fucking body in the world is living by the verses of the Bible or by the verses of the Quran, okay? Nobody in the world is doing that. We are all sinners. Correct your ass and things about you. To make you a better person. But ain't nobody going by no fucking Bible and by no Quran. And ain't nobody sitting in church. I, I fucking the people that go to church are the worst motherfuckers it is. Okay? They hypocrites. Finger pointing. Talking shit. Doing shit. Alright? Pisces, when this video uploads... I'm sorry if I maybe hit the wrong spot this morning on a Sunday. Damn. But I'm taking you there. Okay? For real. 100%. And when it finished uploading, then I do a reading. Because somebody in all Pisces need to sit down and listen. I don't bring nobody's religion down. Nobody. Including, I don't, I'm not in a religion. No, I don't practice no religion. I don't, I don't do that. Okay? I'm a Buddha. Right? But I have many applause in me. And so, I'm telling you, I don't care what Bible you open up in every religion it is in the world. I don't care what you are into. Islamic, 
I don't care who you are. Okay? We all, all of us, are humans. And the sacrifice was made with God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And every day you need to repent. Okay? Every day. Because every day you do something. Whether it's your thoughts, whether it's something coming out of your mouth, your actions, whatever it is. You need to know that every day you sin. Do you understand? And I do apologize if I said something wrong to you. But guess what? I'm not lying. I talk about me first. And that's why I always say me. All right? Because it's better for me to say me than to read a card and tell you what it's saying. No, if I show you me, then you can relate to me. Because you are you are me and I am you. Pisces, we're one. It's some real shit out here. And we need to fix shit. Do you understand? With the people that mean the most, the most to us. Okay? It's a product that's being made. It's a product that was made. For those who are pregnant, for those who got infants, it's a product that's being made. And it's a product that was made from people like me. The kids are out of the house. Now you got your grandkids coming in. All right? Remember I said this. I love you all. And I try to be as real as I can on every level. On every level. And I will open up my doors to help the kids that are the products of who we created and who we are. I'll talk to y'all later. You have a blessed Sunday. Thank you for giving me your time because this ain't a reading. But thank you. Thank you a million. Take care of yourself.